Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and today I'm going to show you how you can set up accurate collision for your objects in RPG Developer Bakin. To show you what this means, let me import an object into my map scene and leave it at the default box-shaped collision. One way, and one of the easiest ways really, that we can do this is by grabbing the 3D object file, in this case it's on my desktop, and just dropping it right into the map scene. This will open the file import window in Bakin immediately, and you can see this very simple model that I made of a barn. There, see, it says barn, just in case you couldn't tell. By default, it will have this box shape around it. Now this is all good and fine, we can just hit OK. You'll get the import materials window. Just leave it alone, add all new, hit OK. All right, let's test play. And now you, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry, Timmy. I'm so sorry. We'll fix you up later. All right, so my building is on the map, but as you can see, I can't get too close to it. I can't enter this space in the corner, even though there's no architecture there. And I can't go up the stairs. Boing, I can't, just can't go up the stairs. That's because this box collider is all over this model. It would be much better if we had accurate collision. What accurate collision is going to do is match the shape of the collision to the model itself. So let's do that. And in doing so, I will also show you the other way you can import 3D objects into RPG Developer Bakin. We're just gonna click Resources under Master Menu on the left-hand side of the screen. We're gonna make sure that we have selected the 3D Stamps menu, and then we're going to click Add in the upper left corner of the screen. We're adding a new 3D stamp. I'm going to look through the left-hand side menu here. This is where all of your DLC will be if you have any. You can also select from file and that's what I'm going to do. Desktop documents and downloads are conveniently located at the top and my model is on the desktop. I've called it barn3. I'm going to hit add and exit. Here's our notification window that it was added and I'm going to add all of the materials. So here's our new and improved barn model but this one I would like to have the accurate collision and not the box. On the right hand side of the screen you can turn accurate collision on. Once you do this, you will notice a number of changes on the right hand side. Notably, the physics setting is now unlocked and you can click on the box next to it. Once you have done that, you are brought to the asset picker and you are in the folder where you can choose from one of your models. In this case, I'm going to choose the exact same model that I just got done importing. What it's doing is it is looking for a model to copy the collision off of. And it's going to do that by copying the shape of the model. So I can actually select one of these other barn models and it would work perfectly fine. But in this case, I'll just keep things simple, select the same one and hit add and exit. Notification window. And now you can see the collision on the object and it actually matches the dimensions of the model itself. This is perfect, but let's give it a test play. We'll hit okay. We'll just drop that model right on the map. T Timmy, you're gonna go blind. I can get a lot closer to the house. I can walk amongst the beveled architecture and I can even walk up the stairs. I don't even have to configure anything. I just walk up the stairs because those meshes just happen to be well within the range of being able to walk up and down new terrain. Look at this. I can steal grandma's pie right from the windowsill of, of the barn. No, I don't know why grandma's pie is in the windowsill of the barn. Let, let me continue this tutorial. Move Timmy out of the way. Move me out of the way. I'm going to show you the best thing about accurate collision. The best thing about accurate collision is the fact that we can place models in RPG developer balking upon which we can walk. That's right, you don't have to rely on the tile, slope, and stair system of Bakin. You can actually import your own 3D models as landscapes. So to do this, I'm just gonna head back to resources, 3D stamps, add, select from file, and I've created a model called Rolling Hills. Add and exit. Notification window, add all new. Here it is, Rolling Hills. It's a model that I created in a 3D program separate from Bakin, but I would like for my character to be able to walk on these hills and not be bound to flat terrain nor the slopes inbuilt. So once again, right after you have imported a 3D object, you can click on Accurate Collision and you can click on the physics setting and you can select the item that you have just imported in the asset picker and click add and exit notification window and it will actually work. Other times this collision will look way off. If that is the case, you can hit OK and then go right back into resources, 3D stamps and assign it the collision over again. Just do it again. In this case, it worked perfectly though. So let's hit OK, click our object. Oh, that's gonna be a big one and test play. And there you have it. You can walk all over this 
plain or whatever landscape you want to put in the game. When you go up slopes, your character will actually have a little bit of resistance because of the gravity settings. Watch this, major resistance. Power walking. If I push up, my character will actually walk with a bias in favor of the gravity direction. That seems like it's realistic. All right, I hope this tutorial has been of some use to you, and I hope that you'll take full advantage of being able to use accurate collision in your projects. Personally, I feel like once you start using accurate collision, you'll never go back. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's the premier source for Bakin education, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye for now.